first of all, yesterday was crazy with sports. Crazy. I mean, Jackson State won, which I knew that was going to happen. And I'm watching Georgia barely beat Kentucky. Barely beat Kentucky. That was a great game. And I watched the Canelo fight. I'm not even going to mention that I watched Alabama whip Wisconsin. Now, Jackson State, they played around 7 o'clock. I'm watching their game, and I'm turning back and forth to the Colorado-Colorado State game. That's a big rivalry game. Now, in the first half, Colorado didn't do much. Second half, it was the Travis Hunter show. Now, last year, remember, Travis Hunter um, suffered a lacerated liver. That was big news last year. But they pieced it up. Travis Hunter... Um, showed no ill will towards the guy that took the cheap shot on him. This year was a totally different game. He snapped on that football field. On the defensive end, he had five tackles. On the offensive end, he caught. He had two touchdown receptions. He had an interception. He had five tackles. He had over 100 yards in receiving yardage. He had a great game. To me, he's the best player in college football. Yes, I said it. He's the best player in college football. That's just my opinion. And Jackson State was able to run the ball. I think they ran for over 100 yards. And Shadour Sanders threw for 300 yards. Funniest thing in the world, though, Colorado State was talking like they was good. Y'all not good. Y'all not good. Y'all talking all this mess about Colorado being on the internet, Colorado playing for Instagram followers, Colorado's an Instagram team and all that. Y'all lost 28 to nine. I mean, y'all gave up six sacks to a team that don't even get sacks. Y'all let Colorado rush for over 100 yards. They rushed for like 40, 50 yards a game. And they had the nerve to talk crazy about Colorado. Now Colorado played a stellar football game. 300 yards passing, uh, average four yards to carry, rushing, six sacks. Travis Hunter showed why he's the best football player in college football. I mean, come on now, next week they play Baylor. That's a wonderful football game. It is. So you let Colorado get up to a three and one start through four games. That's progress. Last year they won four games. This year, they're trying to win six and get to a bowl. It's possible. It's doable. Colorado has to play like they played last night to get them six wins. They got to be focused. They got to be locked in. But for Colorado State to be talking like they was good, that's ridiculous. They butt cracked. They're not good. They're not. Now, I'm not saying Colorado's a great football team. But they're better than Colorado State. They proved that over the last seven times they played in this classic. Yeah, they got classics on the Power Five level. On some kind of Rocky Mountain classic. Colorado State thought, okay, we're going to get them. They looked horrible against Nebraska. We're going we to beat Colorado this year. That's what they thought. It's because Colorado looked horrible against Nebraska. They thought, you know what? They're not good. We better than them. So they started popping off on the internet. And they got dogs, they got housed. Now, in other sports news, Arch Manning showed why he was a five and a half, five plus recruit. Now they ain't texted him play a great team, but Quinn he was on cue just like every season, he misses games. He's always getting hurt. He's always pulling something, he's always doing something where the backup quarterback is going to play. So Arch Manning played and accounted for five touchdowns. Arch Manning is also a mobile quarterback who can run it and throw it. I got to say about a 4 5 40 at least. He broke a long run. He should be starting somewhere on a Power 5 football team, but he's going to wait his time at Texas. Now, like I said, they ain't played no powerhouse or nothing like that, but Arch Manning looks good. And he definitely got his wheels from his grandfather because Peyton couldn't run and Eli couldn't run. These guys are aware that Arch Manning 
He can play next year. If he balls out, he can go to NFL. You are aware of that. But more than likely, Arch Manning to stay in college four years because that's what Mannings do. But if Arch Manning balls out next year and he's projected to be a first-round pick, he should go to the NFL. The family business is the NFL. But Arch Manning could be starting for a bunch of FBS schools. Right now, he's just teasing us by coming off the bench. But who knows how serious Quinn Ewers' injury is. Every year, like I said, about the same year, he gets hurt. He's not the most durable quarterback. He's not. But they're in good hands having Arch Manning as a backup. Arch Manning is different. If I'm a five-star quarterback, I'm not sitting on nobody's bench. I'm going to let you know that from the jump. I'm going somewhere where I can play right away. That's just me. I'm not sitting two or three years on nobody's bench. It's not happening. But he's a Manning, so they do things a little different.